yo the timer has hit zero the timer has hit zero <laughs> y'all know what that means y'all know what that means it's time to stream scuff or not scuff or ready or not it's time to stream uh so let's go ahead and dive in we are on the final day of the starfield early access regular gaming uh starts tomorrow so excited about that first off well first off i'm gonna order of operations let's go ahead and do the battery charge for today uh let's get that going my god lord wrong button there's the button it wouldn't it wouldn't be a stream if it wasn't a little bit scuffed if it wasn't a little bit scuffed um Yes. All right. So I think I think today's like short and sweet, very similar. I'm feeling a little. Bit, let me get my words together. Um, I'm feeling very similar to yesterday in terms of. I don't know. It's just it's just a vibe. I can't really explain it. Um, again, my brain is really activated by story based games. I also heard another streamer call it story rich games. Uh, and I really appreciate that framing because I, I think that's what I probably will start saying going forward. But um, Starfield is such a story rich game and uh, it's really ignited my brain in a way that Destiny 2 really hasn't. Uh, there are the captions. Thank you captions for actually showing up today, clocking in to do your job pre-changing. Um, and yeah, so that um, sleep has been what it is. I haven't been getting much sleep, but I'm hoping to catch up this weekend. But again, y'all know how it goes, content creation. There's a lot of videos to be put out around early access. I'm also working on some longer phone videos for Starfield. I'm still working on content for Destiny 2. But again, all in all, I just named these things to say that, you know, I have a lot going on. But I'm still feeling pretty like, you know, even keel level level headed about everything. And, you know, I'm feeling um, I'm feeling. Well, that's good to know. I, I know what's good to know. I'm feeling up in this. I think today is, a, I don't think we've ever done this before, y'all. I don't think we've ever consecutively had four. Well, today we'll make it five. Back to back to back to back to back green days. So shout out to us. Um, uh, just just uh just just enjoying life and again i appreciate that we're able to have a game that allows us to be in good spirits and again i think that's the point right uh gaming is uh whether you do it full-time or there's just a hobby uh gaming is supposed to be an uh, opportunity to escape to expand your mind to expand the way that you think about the world and i think uh starfoot is really doing that for me and i'm really appreciative of that and i'm pretty sure folks are showing up for uh this uh, very interesting journey we are going on with my first character so Let's go ahead and get started for the day. Uh, it's fine. Take your time. We have time. We have to, we have. Huh. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I have been trying to work on, cause again, as it's like, I'm not in the Starfield space as it pertains to like YouTube content. So like, I'm trying to figure out where I can like still be myself and what people know me for in terms of my content on youtube but then also like kind of start to break down to the space because there is it's like um gtrp uh there are like whole universes on youtube around gta rp and i feel like um there's a community of people who are interested in storytelling who are interested in story world building and story building and character arcs uh, based on there are like there are people I know in particular one person who we shouted out before shout out to Quintana Quintana has made a mixtape a mix a full fledged I think it's like six eight songs on YouTube based on her character's arc and it's in the voice of her character right um, and people loved it and it was fire it was fire oh my god it was fire she had a diss track in there. She had like a welcome to the city, da da da. I'm the baddest B you done met this. But there were so many different things. And uh it just stuff like that encourages me. I always love when content creators are in their bag. Um, anybody, regardless of what you're doing, if you in your bag, you content creator. Um, and I put streamers in there too. But if you're creating content, 
It's good content. It's quality content. I don't care what kind of genre you're in. If it's quality content, uh, I'm I'm definitely you know tip my hat to you. Uh, I don't really wear hats like that, but I'm gonna tip my hat to you. And so uh, for me, it's it's been a great journey to experience this, and Starfield just really makes me want to do that type of content. Um, now I can't promise that we're gonna end up doing a full mixtape or whatever, because that that would be. <laughs> interesting endeavor but i can say that um uh, definitely look out I, I this first character this first arc we're we're doing once we get through the main story i i just don't have a feeling that it's it i i want to do more and i think there's an opportunity to do more and again i really uh, think that's the direction i want to take my content it's like story rich games that you know, we're not just playing a game to get the best gear and do whatever, but we're playing a game to like actually like, you know, build a community around people who want to tell stories. And again, uh, obviously GTA RP, um, which has been a thing for a while. Um, drag uh, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, you know, people who play like uh, Detroit, uh, Becoming Human Detroit, you know, like oh, there, there's so many different communities. And so. Is that the name? Becoming Human in Detroit? Something like that. It's Detroit. It has a dude from Grey's Anatomy's in there. So, um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> that's not the point. Um, so we're going to begin in today. I don't anticipate today being long because we did um, start earlier. Um, it's because I, I want to also take care of some IRL stuff. And also, I don't want to miss my workout. I miss my workout early in the week and I do my, my best to stay consistent. Um, just cause, uh, just from a like discipline, uh, staying, staying structured thing. So, uh, I think streaming, having the opportunity to stream earlier today, uh, which I don't always get a chance to do. Um, and then we'll, you know, stream for as long as we can. We'll do, uh, outro. The outro today will be again, y'all know we do announcements. So, you know, just hold on. I'm almost done with announcements, but. Uh, after that, uh, after the stream ends, we'll do a quick outro recording for YouTube just to kind of do our quick and dirty uh, thoughts on early access since it does end today. Uh, and then um, we'll go ahead and come back probably Thursday, probably take a day off and then come back Thursday because I also need to like edit and do other things. But uh, we'll, we'll get some some content going. So let's turn off of this. So we can hear the space music. And also, y'all know what time it is. Wait, Detroit becoming. Okay, yes. Oh, okay. I got it right. I got it right. But with that being said, it's recap time. It's a recap. 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 It's a recap. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's a recap. It's a recap. It's a recap. So where are we in the story? So yesterday we attempted to get Luna's revenge. Luna, our combat medic, our main character that we have right now, is uh, deep in it in terms of the world. Um, has saved a number of lives, even one whole community who is facing extinction uh, from these uh, these nomads who were like terrorizing them. Just helped countless people. We've killed corrupt politicians, well, corrupt, corrupt business people, but they're acting kind of like politicians. Um, we've been out here, you know, exercising our skill set around like being, you know, our combat past and, and being very proficient with pistols in particular, but also just weaponry. But then also healing communities. We've helped feed the poor. We've helped save people's lives. And on top of that, we have three booze. We have three booze in the roster. We have Sarah, who's our first boo, who we're actually kind of on the rocks with. We have Barrett. He's our second boo. And then finally, we have Andresia, who is our current active companion in this journey uh, and our third boo. Can we get Sam on the roster? Potentially. Can we get Melvin on the roster? Potentially. Can we get Noel on the roster? Probably not. But that's not the point, because uh, I, th I don't think you can romance Noel. But uh, we, we we have a really cool journey. And again, I know uh, folks are starting to see some people finish 
quote unquote finish the game uh, just be clear they're not finishing the game they're finishing the main storyline uh and uh, but that's supposed to come out with like additional aspects to the storyline but the main storyline is about 60 hours just if you do all of the main constellation what's our place in the universe missions uh, to complete the game at base without 100%ing it, it's a 100-hour game. Uh, and I believe uh, the guesstimates so far are that, again, no one's done it, but uh, that it's 150 hours to 100% this game. So, again, it's a long game, but, again, that's just doing it on one character uh, with one particular arc. If you want to be a good person, if you want to be a bad person, all those different things. So um, I'm excited that, you know, we're, we're going to finish out the storyline with Luna, uh, but then uh, we might... Uh, also proceed to take in a different direction so uh that's where we're at thus far luna is in this arc trying to fight for their lives and unfortunately uh we did find out later uh, just a clarification for people who were with us yesterday uh i'm sorry we weren't able to do the crimson fleet storyline because that was kind of the headline thing i wanted to do yesterday i ended up looking it up on uh after stream and it is indeed bugged. Uh, so unfortunately, until that gets unbugged, we cannot finish that side quest. Uh, but yeah, uh, there is no reason we're supposed to have a 550,000 credit bounty on our head because I don't have 550,000 credits to take the bounty off my head. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's a weird bug. I don't know the cause behind it, but like when I looked it up, many people were having it. And some people even had bounties that were higher than 550,000. So it's it's a it's a bug that's happening to people just randomly uh and uh but Bethesda does know about it, so hopefully uh, it'll get fixed soon. So uh, unfortunately, you probably won't at least in terms of early access get to finish that storyline, but in the future, you know, you know, it's an incentive to come back. Uh, uh, come back. Uh, you, you, you feel that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You feel you feel you feel you feel that coziness? If you just tune in to 87.555100em.tddxyz at aol.com, smooth jams every day. If you just tune in, okay? I, can, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to promise you, but, but we we gonna have a good time. I can't promise you that. So, um, let's get into today. Uh, I was on the grind for money because I'm broke. Okay, I'm not broke. Uh, I got seven. I got seventy thousand credits, but um, the seventy thousand really can't buy you anything in this game. Buy you anything major. So uh, I still need to get an outpost. I still need to get the bounty off of my head. You know, so I still want to save the money, even if the bug does get fixed. I want to have the money just in case. Uh, so we were. Uh, where is it? this is not the active mission that's not what we're doing we were doing these so we're, we're doing these little uh mission board bounties which are actually pretty lucrative uh, anywhere between like 2500 to like 5000 creds which isn't bad for like pretty you know fairly short missions i think we're spending like Lord, i never get tired of that sound <laughs> i never get tired of that oh my god but um yeah i think we're only spending like 10 or so minutes on each of these missions and to get like anywhere between 2500 to 5000 creds is actually like hella decent so um can't even complain now the longer missions like uh, the high excuse me right the higher paid missions like the ones that are 5000 uh creds dollars creds essentially the same thing uh they do take a little bit longer we did do one which was a bounty we had to do a stealth mission uh ended up completing it off stream and that took maybe like 30 minutes but yeah like they're they're really they're really not that hard and it was only like 30 minutes because it's stealth if if they just would let me go guns blazing i would have uh i would have finished that in like five minutes okay cool 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 complete survey 64 percent All right, wait, that didn't that didn't finish it? I thought it was gonna finish. 64%. What else do I have to do? Uh leave in the but I'm gonna put up there by the experience because it can be automatic sequence. Fully surveyed. Yikes. 
Oh, wait. Can I do that from the air or do I have to... Oops, wrong button. It's an extreme environment. So maybe we have to land. Maybe we have to land. That's a, that's a thing. So let's land. Let's see if we can uh, get it 100%. But yeah, um, speaking of which... homie in the house we got a homie in the house didn't give the proper introduction my apologies but we got immaculate in the building uh one that one of the homies appreciate you for being in here um and uh yeah just join in on the the fun i know i know you'd be having a lot of things to do Planet surveys may require you to explore multiple planet biomes try landing at different spots on the planet if you run out of things to scan okay Landmark, life science, and hazard map icons will point you to areas where you can do several noteworthy planetary traits. Build an outpost with a scan booster. Ooh, okay, we just did this. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. At least the only smell I shall have to deal with is myself. Not that I smell bad, I just. Never mind. Yeah, so this is Andresia, uh, boo number three. Boo number three. Okay, so we just need a place to like boost the scanner. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely gotta give the proper uh, you know, heads up. Who who is this? Who is this? Uh we definitely gotta give the proper, you know, heads up to the homies. Uh we we're actually talking about it with Nesto. I don't know if you've been in a stream. Dear God, every time. This game hates me. complete survey okay so so what just happened there is like i tried to post an outpost but uh i don't have the skill set yet to 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 put an outpost here because otherwise i just would have put an outpost built a really quick scan booster complete the scan and then uh <laughs> destroyed it so i can get my money back <laughs> but they're like nah fam oh my god okay hold on this is the wrong weapon for this fight okay here we go no, Andresha, why are you shooting at them? Oh my god, now we gotta fight. I was gonna try and avoid them. Get these uh get these grenades, buddy. Got them. Oh well. Now we get now we get to level 21 by killing these uh these animals. It was, it was kill or be killed. Hell, <laughs> isn't that what they always say? That's everyone's excuse. It's like, I, I didn't know it was it was killer be killed. Hmm, okay. Sure. Calvary Chuck to Nope. Adapter frame, yes. Cause a lot of these resources are so hard to come by. If you don't have an outpost, and again, we just don't have the skill set yet to really get into out the outpost game. Alright, cool, cool, cool. It's still sixty four percent. It didn't go up. Why? Why did it not go up? What does your scanner reveal? All right, let's let's try and go there. Okay, because if it really is like blocking me from doing this until I have the full skill set, then we'll just do another bounty because that's unfortunate. I'm like, no way. Cause all I, all I want to do is zoom, zoom, zoom in my room, room. Is that the, is that the lyrics? Those lyrics? No, those aren't the lyrics. Every time. All right, cool, cool. Wait, no. Wrong weapon. Boom. Oh, beryllium? Let's go. Scan this location. Okay. Oh, okay. So it is going up. Okay. Okay. It's just taking a while. That is not Andresia. That's aluminum. Lamau. Andresia. What is this? Zero one scan. Scan. It's meteorite. Cool, cool, cool. Um, can I? Can I? Wrong weapon. Can I? Ah. 
I cannot. Okay, cool, cool. So I don't. It's not leveled up enough. Dude. But we are at seventy-seven percent, so I'm. I, I'm. I, I can. I can. Pl I can complain. I'm not going to. All right. So that's the collapse mine. But I think we we're already at the collapse mine. No. No. Yes. Also, the one thing I will say, it's like it's like a super random feature, but I really love it is that uh, whenever you pull out your weapon, your active companion, whoever's like uh, currently like because again, the whole crew is um, the whole crew is with me. Okay, not oh that got us 80 percent let's go oh wow okay that's w that's a w okay can i okay no i can't uh can't there is a animal over there which we were trying to avoid But yeah, I was like, hey, talk about ride or die, right? It's like, they, they, there's like, hey, yo, you pulling out your weapon? I'm pulling out my weapon too. Like, you know what? That's lovely. <laughs> I, I appreciate you. But yeah, some of the limitations, and we'll probably talk again. I, I want to see how the, the, there's a couple bounties I do want to do before the end of stream that will test my theory, but like, yeah, it's like it's like there's some like really good. Wait, what it was unknown? Hold on. It was just there. Unknown market. We go survey. Uh, so so certain limitations make sense, right? You don't want people. Is this aluminum? No, I have. I'm probably going to get burdened pretty soon. Yeah, I'm about to be encumbered, so I can't really take too many more resources. Resources are so heavy in comparison to like everything else in the game. Oh God, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, so there's certain limitations that make sense, right? If at the start of the game, it wouldn't make sense for everyone to have like a super OP, just out the box, just amazing, couldn't be destroyed spaceship right i think there's a lot of aspects of space combat that are valuable through failure like i think you understand how like it's like it's like any game with like a pvp game you're learning movement tech wall bounces slides slide cancels all that different stuff like you learn those things through failure to like understand like how best it works for your play style what what tools you incorporate what tools you won't incorporate I feel like I feel like it's good. I, let me just say that I feel like it's good to have some of those components in a game like this, right? So, like uh, what I was saying before is, is like I don't think everyone should have had the most out of out of this world invincible spaceship out the box, but I feel like there's certain like artificial difficulty measures, like having an extremely horrible spaceship to start off with that made so many of the initial missions like honestly it was like to the point where like i was on day like two or day three and i just ended up stopping stream early because like it, it just felt bad it was like i i know what i'm doing um you know i i know i gotta like maneuver i know i got like i get the like movement aspect of it what i don't get is you know, I why is the ship so it's literally not my skills at that point. It was just like this the ship the spaceship we got from the intro mission. And the only one we realistically can afford. Just it, it does it's, it has very low maneuverability. The weapons are very weak, even at max power. The shields are very low. And so you have enemies who are at the same level as you, like one shotting you. Well essentially one shotting you. It's not one shot, but it's like they they hit off one volley of firing pew 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 and then you're dead 
And that's just frustrating to do, especially when it's on a mission quest that gets you a better ship or gets you better armor or whatever the case is. So this is one of those things where it's just like, um, I'm, I'm still not clear what the thinking was behind that, but, um, they definitely couldn't like, I'm not saying like the intro ship had to be like super ridiculously strong, but like you could have, you could have broke us off a little something, something, a little piece of that Kit Kat bar a little bit. And again, other people have been like, I, I beat hard mode with that, with the intro ship. And I'm like, that's great for you. Oh, who are these people? Deserted relay. This would be so funny if this was like in real life, like you could, uh, uh, you could run into like your homies. It's like, hey, hey, what you doing? Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 Cletus, you over on this, you over on this side of the planet? Oh, I didn't, I didn't know you moved over here. Yeah, yeah, me, me and Verna, you know, you know, you know, we was trying to settle down somewhere a little bit quieter. You know, you know how 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 crazy people are getting these days. It's it's wild that you really thought y'all was gonna win this. I'm missing shots and still destroying you. This is what you get for being a part of a cult. Uh, Hello? Oh yeah, I, for I forget that the lasers don't have uh, as good uh, Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in hit that registration. The laser weapons. What you got for me? You got some distilled water? Thank you, baby. What you got for me? Nothing. You ain't got nothing good. Yeah, you ain't got nothing good. All right, cool, cool. Wait, can we hear me out? Can we now steal their ship? Switch to my uh, my physical damage weapon. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, the hit registration is clean. It's clean on that one. Oh no! Oh, they ran away. So one of them was still alive. Okay. Why? Well, Why well, teach you to come around these parts, buddy? All right. So meteor creator. I'm like so off off track now. What was I doing? I was going to visit somewhere. Oh Lord, uh, having a, a scan booster would absolutely make this a much more bearable <laughs> uh, process. Okay. Um, honestly, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I, th I think it's just going to be better when I have uh, the surveying skill beefed up a little bit more. I think I think that's going to be a little bit more engaging because even I feel myself drifting away. Because uh, I was just like, fam, what am I supposed to do here? But um, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Hello? Brain? All right, so we'll come back and do that. It's almost finished, but maybe that's something we just do off stream. But let's get into some battle now. Let's actually fight some people. All right, so we need to take care of some people. Pulse. Wait, where is it? Oh, is it? Uh, no. Is it not here? Locate and destroy the Crimson Fleet at at White at Delta Pavonis. Okay, I'm I'm con I am confusion. But let's go in. Let's go in. Okay. I 
I was expecting to exit uh, grab. Oh no, please, please no. I ran into this bickering couple <laughs> before. <laughs> don't want to. I don't want to. Go to any planet. Okay, so any planet and then. Yeah, let's let's go to Augur. 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 Is this it? This looks like it. The fleet looks after its own. Mostly. Mostly? What does this mean? Oh no, this oh this is the one we're looking for. Lamal, um sorry. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry. But like the Crimson Fleet take care of their own and now I'm just <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> They're like the Crimson Fleet. Cause I I be forgetting sometimes I'm still technically a part of the Crimson Fleet. That's crazy. But also, dum dum dum. I also just added more money onto the bounty on my head, which is not good. So yikes. Honestly, that is probably deserved. I ain't even gonna hold you. That bounty is probably actually deserved. The other bounties I've gotten, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of some BS. It's a whole lot of BS. All right, let's go back to Aquila City. Let's pick up some more bounties uh, since we can't. No, crap. I always do that. Yo, am I am I am I tripping? Am I OK? I'm just yeah, I was about to say, damn, I'm just trying to zoom out. All right, um, Cheyenne and then in Cheyenne is Aquila City. All right, let's go. And also, there's a bunch of stuff we haven't done in Aquila City yet, but uh, again, a lot of good. Uh, oh, I wish I wish I had recorded it, but there's this really cute like 15 minute mission where we had to go feed some poor people. Um, but well, it's well, so large. It retains a sort of rustic feel. So, so what had happened was the their what they call intello wheat. It's just like a, a better, stronger, uh, more resilient, more nutrient dense wheat uh, crop wasn't being harvested, and uh, there was a company who was harvesting a part of their profits, and that wheat crop went to poor people in the city. Um, so very noble, very great cause, but all of a sudden they stopped, you know, the shipments to, to the, the, the poor people stopped. And so they couldn't figure out why. And it was because there are these alien creatures that no one had the power to kill. We're stopping, uh, their machinery from actually, um, harvesting the crop. So, uh, it ended up being a space where like, we could just, uh, we can accept all of these so we don't have to keep coming back here, but yeah. Looks like two assassination. You don't have space on your ship for this cargo? Hello? A oh, 133 kilograms. Interesting, interesting. I probably could delete some stuff, but let's get rid of these first and then we'll come back. But yeah, it was, it was a really nice um, storyline quest. And also, I was, cause I, was, I was looking up to see... Um, nice suit. Uh, I was looking up to see if anyone else had done the side quest because I was, I was just curious on like, um, you know, if people had chosen different uh, dialogue options, what the kind of outcomes were. And surprisingly, a not a lot of people have. Cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Hello? Anything I can help you with? 
surprisingly, they uh, did. They did not. They did not have a lot of content out there. It's interesting because a lot of people actually have been posting their quests. Obviously, if you don't want spoilers, don't look it up. But people have been posting some of the the quest lines from start to finish, and I think that's really cool because there's a lot of quest lines that took different directions that I've done, and it, I was really I wasn't looking to be spoiled on ones I haven't done. I was only looking up ones that I had done, and it was interesting to see where people took bribes where I chose to like kill the corrupt person or someone chose to like look the other way you know like when when people chose different options really cool that people were doing that but a lot of these other side missions people are just not doing okay. it's kind of no sad because these are like honestly to me a lot I mean I won't say like the main storyline you know better than the main storyline but they're a lot better than uh, some of the other storylines in terms of just like the characters they bring to the forefront and it's like at first you're just like what is this dusty old town nobody cares about in the middle of nowhere acting like it's in the old you know the wild wild west uh what what are they over there talking about right but uh it ends up to me at least uh you know being like a really solid storyline it's just like y'all didn't have to do that but but you did and i appreciate you let's get some more storage actually i i thought about it i was like i'm not gonna sell some things i just like collecting things <laughs> I'm going to add more cargo. I'm not going to take cargo off. Take cargo off? That's crazy. Couldn't be me. All right, so we're going to do this. And duplicate. Flip. Boom. All right, so I, 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 am, I am taking off. <laughs> I am taking off things for my uh, flight check. All right, so I uh, no, I wasn't clicking on. I was clicking flight check. Okay, all systems nominal. So I am a lot heavier, so I'm less mobile, but I'm still light years ahead, more mobile than any of the other ships we've we've been on. And this is like this is like the hauler. This is like the hauler type, you know, crew. Anyways, right? You know. Because the more I can complete these, not only can I take care of the Crimson Fleet bounty, but then also, 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 I can uh, put some money to upgrading the ship. So, which also are again, it's his own arc. Kind of going back to like the whole like limiting thing earlier is um, some limits make sense. So it makes sense that I can't super max out my my ship right now because then yeah that would be like make a lot of the games you know, just trivialize it so again i have to not only rank up my personal skills as a pilot combat medic you know all the different uh background traits that i have but then also i have to get my spacesuit uh, skill set up my weaponry my cooking skills up uh also my ability to craft things for my actual spaceship has to to get done up run up get done up so good times easy credit rip off good times scratching and surviving good time hanging in a town line good times ain't we lucky we got em. good times Nobody? Bruh. Crazy. Crazy. Orbital insertion completed. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So let's get those bounties going. Oh, honestly. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I got a skill point. Okay, brain. Okay, brain. Can we do this? Can we do this space? Scanning. Uh, it's for more information about this. Okay, so surveying. Oh, what's the difference between a scanner? Scan different. All right, so what is that one? I just want to scan. All right, so this is just for the scanner. I don't know if I want to do that, but we have geology, which I don't think we quite need yet until we are actually ready to start building like big outposts. We have like small outposts, but they're really just for like super small. Like we we have one for lead to harvest lead, but it's very minimal. Uh, we have one for water, but again, they're not very high capacity uh, at all. 
botany, atrodermic. So fuel jumps, I think, is fine because we're we're at that. But like scanning, uncommon, repairs, more, more information about service. I mean, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see. Let's see if this doesn't work. So we'll we'll do it. It's for, maybe maybe it's not the best skill point we'll spend today, but I I, I mean we're at eighty percent. I mean I just, I just feel like we're we're so close. Might as well. Might as well, right? Yeah, right. No. Yeah. But if I haven't asked you already, then I definitely am. Well, they're, they're getting again. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now that's coming right out of hyperdrive to, to being attacked. It's crazy. Damn, like, ain't no way. Ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. You gonna shoot me as I'm coming out of hyperdrive? That's crazy. You lost your mind. You lost, you lost your mind. I was lying. Ain't nobody was bothering you. Ain't nobody was bothering you at all. All right, so we do see a little bit more. Uh, yeah, we see a little bit more things, but does it get us to a hundred percent? And nope, we're still at eighty. Okay, I don't. Well, that was a bust. I mean, it was it was a risk. It was a, it was a risk that like we weren't gonna get the get the actual like things that we needed but we'll try it we'll try it out good to go for landing i don't know that's kind of bananas Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. I pressed the wrong button. Wow. The worst. I thought I pressed get off the spaceship, not take off. <laughs> I'm throwing. Throwing indeed. Aim point reached. Orbit stable. Right, who y'all shooting at? Who, who are y'all? Oh, this is system defense. Ooh, this. Ooh, I should probably. You know what? Let's. I mean, just because. Just because. Did I? I made a big mistake. I'm about to pick up this loot. I mean, the big mistake by picking up this loot. That's crazy. money uh a few credits wouldn't hurt honestly yeah like um, uh, yeah, i'm yeah i ain't gonna hold you of course we got to resume our patrol stay safe cool all right 2100 isn't bad it's not good but it's not bad all right cool, cool, cool i totally lost track of what i was doing all right, deliver drill bits. Ooh, okay, so we need, oh, this has a time gate, so let's absolutely do this first. Get me out of here. Because that's the one thing that they talk about, and which I actually appreciate these, because I think they're, it's a really cool dynamic, but you have to I juggle. I understand wanting to honor. You have to juggle a lot, because you have to remember that the time like one, you have to understand light years and, and time difference in light years. Also, the fact that like the time zone that you're in could be completely opposite or days apart from another planet. So being able to like keep that in mind, if you have some of these tasks that are, I, I, I guess you consider them time gated, but I, I think they're just like timed uh, 
tasks for me is this is, is i don't know like i i think you know in the higher tier content it'd be interesting to have something on tighter schedules but the the ones we've done this far on and off stream it, it's been really cool or, or even celebrate history welcome to but new this Austin. may take please it please make far. your way to the building at the end of the path and down into the colony below stay safe and enjoy your visit okay cool cool so we have a we have a task to go to new homestead but it, i i gotta get the i gotta get this this other delivery done so i'm gonna see y'all later oh and this i just love oh my god is the fact that like we can just do these things without having to worry about taking multiple trips because our spaceship can't like actually like handle everything oh my god Deliver frozen meats to Demos. Isn't Demos the? Yeah, it's the. Welcome to Demos Star Yard. Or Demos. If you have business, feel free to dock. If I have business, you better. You better, dude. Speaking of business, self promo. Uh, we have been putting. Just a reminder, we have been putting some of our Starfield content. Uh, in the form of shorts as well as some shorter videos on our YouTube page. So exclamation point YT, um, or you can find information in my panels. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely check us out, whether you're here live with us, uh, whether you're lurking or if you are watching this after the fact, definitely check out the other videos besides this playthrough uh, that we have available. Ooh, nice. Okay, so. We're also getting like some key XP for traveling. Like literally we just hit level 21, like what two missions ago. And again, that's the other benefit of this. Yes, we're getting money. Uh, not as much money as we would like. We're, again, we've only, you know, upped it 10, 10,000 credits, but it's enough money that it's enough missions that in like two and a half missions, we're already, um, you know, like what's that 60%? It's more than 50, but you know, we're a good ways away uh, to getting to our next skill point. So. Uh, these things definitely, you know, they pay off. And, and you see, you see how quickly we're doing them, right? It's only been like 15 minutes and, and we've already gotten, I don't know, probably more than 15 minutes, but like in 20 minutes, we've done two, almost three different missions. Who is this? Face, what's suffering? Who are you? Bam, do you not know my lasers can hit you from that far? You're not. You're done. You're done. You're done. What do we? What is even the conversation? Right, what? Is, what was even the conversation? What? What is going on? Y'all. Y'all out here just being bad. Imagine being this bad. Couldn't be me. Got him. So this one I'm talking about, yo. I, again, I, I fully acknowledge that we should not have gotten this specific ship day one of Starfield. Absolutely. But the intro ship is just bad. It's terrible. Terrible. Um, but again, it, it was a, it was an eight hour side mission. Oh, and it was. Oh, my God. It was delicious. As delicious as a side mission could be. It was a great side mission. Um, and uh, I don't regret it. Like, obviously, the big prize was we got like 5000 creds, which was a lot of money. Um, it still is a lot of money uh, in the game. And then also, where is it? Oh, it's right here. But also, you know, we got the ship and the ship. The ship is, is spicy. All right, how much we, we have cargo space, right? Oh yeah, we have hella cargo space. Now I need to, I need to like, definitely like, <laughs> I need to like sell some things. Cause I keep filling up and then just adding more cargo space, but we will uh, we'll get it together. We'll get it together. All right, what's the mission? Kill the pirate rover on, eh, are we locked in? Are we locked in? Lock it in, lock it in, lock it in, take them out. Spin up the house. 
and go two times. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, 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 Alright, so life signs. We have to take out a satellite or take out a person. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I was not paying attention. Some sort of science facility. My rather unique design. I wonder if it is for show or serves some particular purpose. Ooh, adhesive. We don't never get adhesive. I don't know why adhesive in space is like one of the most rare materials. That and titanium. If you find it, do not freaking let go. All right, what do we do? It is, I don't know, we're, I'm gonna activate the button. Move, Andresia, please. Andresia, I can't click the button. Thank you. All right, so that activated and then let's go up. I, I have no clue where this is taking us, but. I imagine to where we're supposed to be. And isn't, isn't, and isn't that just what life's about? Isn't that what life's about? You know, just allowing life to just surprise you. Can't go that way. No. Okay, so it is over there. But how do I get up there? Oh my God, you are not a friendly. And not, not that I caught you lacking like that. That's actually bananas. Wait, what? Where? Where are you? Ain't no way. Ain't, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. You really thought that was going to work. Okay. I was not expecting resistance. I can uh, tell you that. I can tell you what. I can tell you what. There's no way. I just added more to the Crimson Bounty. This is terrible. Best not to leave anything useful behind. I ain't never gonna get out of debt with the Crimson Fleet. <laughs> I ain't never. This is just like America. Okay, this is just like credit card. I ain't, I ain't never gonna get out of debt, y'all. All right, can we go this way? Yes, we can. It's like literally it's a lose lose. <laughs> Either I kill them or I die. And if I kill them, I increase the bounty on my head. <laughs> Why? Wait, what? Who's over here? Oh no, they oh they triggered the alarm. No. Oh I pressed the wrong button, but that's okay, I'm gonna get this med pack. Lord, who's that? Who are you? I'm just gonna have to eat this, aren't I? I'm gonna have to eat this dead. And the fact that like everybody's about to come after me. Bump, 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 bump. We're breaking into the space spaceship. Breaking in, da 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 da. Oh yeah, we're breaking in, we're breaking up, we're breaking out. Oh my God. Not only one clip of three, y'all. That's crazy. Literal, literally, one clip in three. Y'all. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm not gonna get away from that. That bounty. Literally, I just. Ooh, my God. Well, here's the thing. I guess, I guess, in principle, I get, I get, I get the idea that, like, hey, if you are saying you're part of Crimson Fleet, yeah, there should be a bounty on your head if you're killing other Crimson Fleet members. Like, in theory, yes, that makes sense. In practice, it is hella impractical. Oh, that's um, I feel sorry for you. You really thought you was about to do something. I need to turn off this alarm though. Or just get out of here. I 
think it's gonna have to be the ladder. Just gonna have to get out of here because it's kind of getting annoying. Mm, is it this way? What is everybody else? There's no way. Okay, so whenever you kill a higher ranking person, I don't know when it starts, but uh, I guess whenever you kill like a cat. Yeah, okay, so that person was level six, the other person was level six. So I guess when you kill a level six or higher person, it's automatically gonna add 15,000 onto the bounty. I don't even wanna know what the amount is right now. Uh, it's probably like, oh yeah, we're definitely getting money added to the bounty. Lamau. No bounty added for you. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it looks like level six or higher is the kind of threshold. And, uh, it is what it is. I literally, I, I, I can't do anything about it. I start, I started the mission. Like if I had known this beforehand, oh yeah, no, I, I would have, I would have left it alone. But yeah. Now these people get one clip. That's crazy. Are you not embarrassed? Are you not embarrassed? Are you not embarrassed? Why are you running? Why are you running? Let me get out of here. Ooh, I see loot. Oh, no, it's trash. <laughs> I'm like, I think it's good loot. It's actually not. And am I encumbered? No, I'm not encumbered yet, but I am close to it. to get my pistol my pistol oh wait no nobody's uh our radar is not red so nobody else is after us so it's just an alarm that's on which is kind of annoying but you know we're out hello button bow 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 Let's let's go back to Aquila City. Try to compete with. Oh my God! I literally am out here. You know, we're already we're already in deep. We're already in deep. Might as well, right? Might as well. Like I'm not gonna get out of this debt anytime soon. Especially since the initial part of the debt was bugged. I mean, I feel like I could wiggle my way out of the debt I currently have racked. Up. Oh, Lord, wrong button once again. But like, Lord have mercy. I, I know the debt right now is, is probably bananas. Come with me and you see. Oh, what do you want your imagination? Scanning. Dramatic. Okay, okay, okay. Got the scan going, but where are we going to land? Just anywhere? Okay, no, this, this is a hell of a... Destroy the Crimson Fleet Wraith at Lunara. Locate and destroy the Crimson Fleet Wraith. Oh, so I guess we're just searching. That's part of the quest, maybe? Because otherwise that kind of doesn't make sense. Wait, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Oh, this is the person we're after. Oh my goodness, y'all. We are back on it. Oh, uh, yeah. 
sad face. I feel like, I feel like we're already down bad. We're already down bad. We're already in a bad place. So Simultaneously levels up and increases the bounty on my head at the same time. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's go to Jimison. I'm gonna show y'all my outpost. Sh show you my cribs, MTV cribs. All right, so who is the Altiri Saren? Got my outpost. Ooh, it even shows up. I like that. Um, where is it? my outpost so we're gonna land at my outpost and also i'm going to uh if y'all just give me one second um i'll be right back All right, all right, all right. We're back, we're back. All right. Let's check out my outpost. Welcome to my crib. All right, so we got the scan booster. So the scan booster, is this is what we would have built on the other planet if uh, it would have actually let us do it, but we just don't have the skill set yet, but that's fine. Here is one of our wind solar powers. We got some turrets to protect the property. We out here, uh, drilling for water and that's going to go to it automatically goes to our tanks so actually it's uh it shows that i didn't know that it did this but it shows the percentage so it shows that's one percent and then and this one is 44 percent. so uh, if i take the water inventory storage wait do i even have the resources Hold on. Well, let's do this. Let's do this. I think you may be trying to take a little too okay. much on. That's what I thought. So, yes. Bigger. So so I took it. But again, you see how it's still at 1% because it's still building up. So once these are full, it will automatically go to the, the next one and the next one and, and so on and so forth uh, until forever. But we're right by our spaceship. So we can like offload uh, the stuff I have on me right now. But uh, we got water, y'all. Um, Lots of water. But... Wait, what? Oh, Lord. Hello? Oh, the oh the game. The game just had a moment. Okay, anyways. But this was part of why we wanted to go here, because I purposely built this in here. Because of the whole Crimson Fleet situation. 180! Oh my god. Okay, I just can't do anything else that's Crimson Fleet related. I gotta be able to pay this off. That's literally more than double what i have in reserves right now because like again you have the bounty it shows right here it's funny though it only shows up on this one it doesn't show up on any other bounty clearance system on any other planet i tried on several planets uh and it doesn't show up but uh yeah again if you don't have it unfortunately i can't clear my name and if we go back and then we look at how much money we actually have again we have eighty-eight thousand. So yeah, it's like more than double what we currently have. And it took so long to get 88,000. So I have no clue outside of like some type of major bank heist or something, how we'd get, get that much money. 
other uh, other than these things but anyways that's um that's the intro to our house i know i'm encumbered can you leave me alone bro crazy like you're literally tripping for no reason i'm gonna i'm gonna be uncumbered in a second all right i can't i can't transfer it oh lord okay inventory i'm literally right by my ship i should be in range no okay it might be glitched out or something but i'll drop this off in a second but yes this is gonna be the main living area once you're in and everything is airtight and sealed i don't know what i'm going it's probably andresia yes andresia so uh we'll have this main loving area i don't know what we're gonna do right now but again this looks like a nice area to kind of have like a kind of media center right here in this quadrant um uh, maybe some like nice plants or things uh i don't know if we'd actually put the bed in here but like potentially like a definitely like a couch or something to that effect uh this if nothing else was going to be like a research center so again we can put more like living habitats if we want to because it could almost be like you come in and this is like the main like function area and then maybe we have like a portal right here not a portal but a port right here that goes into another one of these uh circular living habs uh what they're called and uh you know extend that in and maybe that's uh smaller but it's like the private bedroom this one was definitely had a researcher mind you can kind of see it looks more like militaristic grade a little bit more drab i mean we'd still like do it up and, and have some like cool decorations in here but a lot of it would you know it would just be you know uh definitely having a workbench a couple workbenches having some research opportunities and then also um you know some of the other like tech that we can't really carry with us long term uh, as well as i want this corner right here to be like all storage so y'all know i'm always encumbered <laughs> so having storage that i can not just keep stuff on my ship that i can also keep stuff in there and then this is a botany hub um and so as you can see it has a lot of uh artificial uh as well as ar artificial lighting as well as open lighting and so because of the current habitat on Jimison is actually really good uh, sunlight. So you got a nice little view. You can see our little water hub. You know, you can see our little electronic things. Obviously, we can do upside, you know, do, do it up outside. But uh, yeah, this is going to be like our area. So once 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 I get my monies up, once once we get, uh, you know, you know, the, the, the coin up, uh, we can probably do that little bedroom expansion somewhere over here. Uh, we'll definitely need to put up more security if we're going to keep um, one of the staff member here because like that's the other benefit of having staff is like anybody who i don't want on staff or who i just don't have capacity for because again i have max five staff uh, and we still need to build a relationship with sam co which would make it six so i would have to leave somebody behind but hello where's my ship oh, okay so that's why i couldn't i couldn't Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was like, that's why I couldn't deposit my uh, my things. All right, I'm about to drop the water then so I can fast travel. I think something with the game glitched. Something with the game glitched. I'll come back for the water later. It's fine. Not in too much of a rush. Transfer. Um, inventory. Resources. All. I am no longer encumbered. I am no longer encumbered. Man, I'm about to be encumbered again. All right, where is my ship? Give me my ship. Can you give me my ship? No freaking way. The game glitched my ship all the way from from where I was to over here. That is crazy. Why does the game hate me? Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. We got a homie in the house. We got a homie in the house. We got B1, B only. Notorious Nesto, how you feeling? No, we don't have the command set up just yet. We don't have the command. That was just yesterday, Nesto. It was just yesterday, Nesto. Uh, we don't have the command set up, but I am going to take off tomorrow so I can do some editing and um, work on some content stuff. So I, I, I'll just add it to my list. 
but yeah, we'll be back on Thursday, but uh, I'm definitely gonna take off tomorrow. I wasn't gonna stream tomorrow, some Destiny 2, but I was just like, I, I it's probably better so I'm not further behind on content to just like take the day off, obviously do work stuff, and then after work, just do content stuff and we'll go from there. And then uh, Thursday, we also have, if you're not a part of the Discord, we have a first ever anime movie night that is going down. So we have a first ever anime movie night. Uh, from the legendary, the immaculate, the immersive, the impeccable, uh, legendary Satoshi Khan, um, just had the portfolio run so deep. Uh, yeah, Satoshi Khan is, yeah, just you, even if you don't think you've heard or seen some of his work, you have, um, but one, uh, one of the greats, uh, in terms of animation, um, 2003 i believe uh uh led uh directed uh the production of the film um the animated film tokyo godfathers tokyo godfathers has a really powerful message um it does deal with some harsher themes in terms of just like the realities of people who are marginalized in life but like again that's what satoshi is known for like him and his team uh they're known for like um and also Masahito, you know, like all the greats, right? In like anime and animation uh, in general. Uh, but they're known for like, you know, that's why we love Studio Ghibli. Like Studio Ghibli is like cute and cuddly on the surface, but they also have these really powerful stories. And so anyways, long story short, uh, we have a community that is uh, for folks who just want to connect and build with other people, whether you're a gamer or whether you're a content creator, we have a community discord for you so if you want to join in uh feel free to join in in general but in particular after stream on thursday we will go right into um uh movie night anime movie night and be watching tokyo godfathers uh and then i already have a long day on thursday anyway so i'm gonna deuces after anime movie night but uh definitely feel free to stay hang out with people who are going to be in the discord uh and yeah uh it's it's uh we just recently had movie night in general we watched guardians of the galaxy 3 uh, a couple of days ago uh so again the the plan is to have you know bi-weekly if not weekly i think maybe weekly is asking a little bit of much but um just because i mainly be hosting it until other people kind of step up into leadership and want to help host but uh, yeah, for the time being, uh, you know, we're, we're going to try and pretty frequently have opportunities for folks to connect with each other. In addition to, um, it's my last thing, it just reminded me because Nesso came in uh, the, to chat, but um, uh, I'm planning a winter winter charity event. So if you are a content creator, in particular a streamer, and you would be interested in being a part of a charity opportunity, uh, again, I'm still working out the details, but again, I am collecting names right now. Folks who'd be interested in being part of that effort uh, to help raise some money for for a really good cause. And so for me, uh, y'all know uh, we love talking about mental health. We love affirming people doing what they need to take care of themselves. And so we want to be raising uh, money for some mental health efforts um, this winter. Uh, so we're still a couple months out, so we still got some time to plan. But uh, if you are interested in your, again, content creator in general but if you're specifically a streamer because this would be a stream based uh event definitely like hit me up or join the discord where we'll have updates on that in the future but again we'll have that we'll have content creator meetups happening in the discord yeah we're gonna have a lot of opportunities i've just been slow to it because final shape showcase season 22 of destiny uh you know all the new content that that recently happened in destiny 2 and then now with starfield and so it's just like back to back to back trying to like put out content and uh that's falling a little bit behind Bruh. but but we gonna get to it and it's definitely on the menu so if you're interested in that definitely join the discord if not don't <laughs> it's perfectly fine either way uh however you feel comfortable with supporting uh means a lot to me so i appreciate y'all but let's get into our next money opportunity. All right, survey. So I can't do the survey one right now because uh, I, I don't have the equipment or the skills right now, but let's do something else. Yeah, maybe this. There's a lot of stuff in Aquila City. Oh, that's crazy. Y'all let a star you escape. That's bananas. Couldn't be. 
Couldn't be me. I mean, it's me because I, because I, I too let it escape. But, <laughs> but uh, hey, here we are, once again. Excuse me. And so Sam is so pissed off of me. I passed Sam like so many different times. I'm gonna get to you, bro. I'm gonna get to you, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can definitely so, so some of the stuff I'm not I'm not going to like super complain because I think it's been super stable up to this point. But like some of the, the game, I think as we're getting closer to the full launch has been they're probably doing some like background maintenance. Again, I need to keep up with the patch notes the same way I keep up with Destiny 2 patch notes. But yeah, you could definitely see like I, I wouldn't I would not go as far to say it's been instable. But I would say in the past two days in particular, as we get closer to the full launch uh, and the end of early access is today on uh, the full launch for everyone is tomorrow. As we get closer to that, I can see like there's certain aspects of the game like at this glitch where I couldn't walk straight for for a little bit La last night. It was happening off stream. Um, yeah, a couple of different things. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that there's just probably background maintenance happening, but uh, still excited, still excited for everything that, uh, you know, they're pulling, Bethesda is pulling out here. Because again, for early access, early, hold on, hold on one second, for early access to be this stable, like granted, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but to be this stable for this large of a game, uh, again, with all the bells and whistles, close to 200 gigs, AAA title, uh, very intensive on your CPU and, and GPU if you're really trying to run it at high settings. For it to be this stable, uh, I think speaks to the the scale and scope and breadth of resources that Bethesda has. But then also, I think it's like pretty fair that like if you're a triple a title when you're a studio as big and as known as bethesda you should right granted there's always going to be bugs i think people have this like weird fantasy that there's never going to be bugs in a game and i'm just like what planet do you actually live on because that's just not reality but like i think uh for a game of this size and caliber it's as good as you're going to get in terms of uh, an early release and then again i'm looking forward to like potentially ad additional expansions additional stories missions um obviously we're, we're more likely gonna have to pay for those but uh, the base content of about 60 hours just for the main storyline 100 hours to do the majority of the side quests and then to 100 percent this game Again, nobody has done it, but the current estimates are about 150 hours. That's a lot of content for this type of game. And then to know that it's still going to have updates to know that there's still going to be additional content that comes out. Uh, and also to know just the at the bare minimum, you can finish the storyline with one character and then play a whole new character with a different arc. Uh, yeah, it's 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 for me. It's it's a, it's a really good sign of things to come, especially if other AAA titles uh, like really look at what Starfield has done right and then continue to improve on it. So, again, this year in terms of RPGs uh, has been saved, saved, and I don't say that lightly, but it's absolutely been saved by Baldur's Gate three and Starfield, like point blank period. I'm Annie Wilcox. You're new in town, aren't you? That means I'm gonna keep my eye on you. You better keep your eyes to yourself. You real nosy, kid. In my line of work, you have to be. See, I work for the Freestar Ranger. I'm the first ever Ranger Surveillance Assistant. And that's not some dumb made up title. No, nah, it is. Ranger Emma Wilcox gave it to me. So it's official. It's not official. It's like one of those titles that like you give your like little like niece or nephew that's annoying you and it's just like uh you know back back in the day <laughs> I, I am ashamed 
but you know i did i did do it if i'm being transparent but it's like back in the day when it's like you kept getting bugged by like a cousin or like your niece or nephew to like play the game with you and you gave them a controller that wasn't plugged up Bruh. and so they was out here playing they hard out thinking they was out here playing side by side but let alone one they don't know that one you're playing a single player game and two their controller isn't even plugged up so you know i i, I this this kind of feels like a very similar it's like fam like what are you talking about you have are a you trying to trick me did, yeah, no, get lost, kid. Like, you, you out here with the fake title. You wish? I don't have time for that. Ranger Alex always says crime doesn't sleep. So us rangers can't let our guard down. That's why I'm always on duty. Even when dumb grown-ups don't appreciate what I'm doing. So what's it gonna be? Ain't nobody asked you, you to do all that. Ain't nobody asked you to do all that. On my list? You, you being hella extra. You being hell extra. Honestly, that, that ain't none of your business. I, I'm feeling sassy today. Child, you need to go play on the playground or do something. Why? You got something to hide? Ranger Diego says a lot of people come to Aquila City because they're running from something. I hope you aren't looking to bring your problems here because we don't need them. Aquila City is just crawling with crime. It's everywhere. And it's up to us Rangers to do something about it. And Ranger Surveillance Assistance. Someone stealing guns and stuff from Laredo Arms. And none of the adults believe us. So we're hoping, you know, you can help us break it all open. That's bananas. I feel like you're making all this up, but I'm, I'm going to go along with it. Um, Yeah, but if there's a criminal loose, I mean, we take care of criminals around these parts. Emily was right about you. I was doing my Ranger Patrol one day. And there was a suspicious character casing Laredo arms. I watched him as long as I could, but I had to rush home for bedtime. First thing in the morning, I came back and interrogated Justin Smith. And he said they were tracking down an inventory discrepancy. I told him about the suspicious stranger, but Mr. Sneed didn't believe me. That actually, uh, that, that, that seems a little suspicious. Exactly. This case was too big for just one ranger, so I deputized Emily. I'm an assistant ranger surveillance assistant. Or, um, something like that. <laughs> and we found out that the thief breaks in most nights, but like, really late. He's got his own key card. We just need to catch him. Security will believe you. That's hilarious. Emily got one of the titles like uh like Dwight from the office, assistant to the assistant regional manager. <laughs> like, fam, these kids, these kids got made up uh made up roles and positions. I'm actually a deputized ranger in the Freestar Collective. These kids out here just run around with their imagination. Uh but yeah, uh I yeah, we we can definitely at least help. Um Yeah, but I, I do want to hear about this key card though. Emily caught him opening the side door one night. That's when we knew for sure we have an actual criminal here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You're doing Aquila City a big service. Best I figure he's there around midnight. We need to wait for him to exit Laredo, then catch him red-handed. We need to bring him to justice. All right, let's get it. Let's get, get, get it. All right, so Suspicious at night was also moving around at the same time as Sneed has a key card. We we definitely got something suspicious on our hands. Apprehend the lair at, oh, at midnight. Yikes. Okay, Um, where can we sleep? Is there a couch? Someone have a couch. Where can we sleep? Or sit down for a little bit. Oh, I, oh, we got some workbenches. Ooh, is this chair available? We got to pay Russia anything? Yes. Okay, no, so let's sit down in the chair. Clean up after yourself. She don't mind. That's awfully kind of her. Ooh, and there's some weapons down here. Okay. Wait, one hour time. Local time. Two hours. Three. Wait, can I count? Three local hours. So, oh, wait, wait, I'm looking at the wrong time. So it is 
11 a.m. Uh, 11, 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait, 11 to 11. Wait, none of those make sense. I can't count. Hello? Hello? Can I count? What is, what is wrong with my brain right now? It, it would be 11, right? To get to 11? Lord, someone help me with the math. Why is my brain, why does this feel like hard math? Why does this feel like no math? Um, but if it's 11 a.m., uh, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12. All right, yeah, 13 hours. Wait, no, I was I was right the first, oh, Lord, no, 13 hours. I don't know why I was like out here dying, dying myself, but yeah. But we're gonna wait. And then, yeah, because it always confuses me when it goes to 24. But yeah, we're going to go to 24. Nice grouping on that last one. Yeah, this might be welcome to the left. I dialed it in first. Okay, cool. So it's a little early, but it should. You should be able to catch the person, right? No? Yes? Confront the thief suspect? Where are they? I'm so screwed. <laughs> what? Uh, Why are you crouching? Shit. I, uh, yeah. Fam, like what? Come on, dog. I, I won't. Oh, God. This can be happening. Oh, God. No. Security. Why, why are you walking away from me? Come talk to me. Don't anybody move. Let's see. Oh no, it got glitched. If it ain't the hero of Galbank. And who do we have here? Looks like you're carrying a lot of weapons for a nighttime stroll. I, I, hell, I give up. Smart move. I got a tip something was going down tonight. Was little Annie actually right about all this? I mean, yeah. I mean, g give it up to Annie. I, I, def I, I was a W W doubter. I definitely was doubting, but Annie, Annie got it right on this. I kind of always thought she was a pest. But now, I got her from here. Aquila City owes you again. Appreciate and, you. Uh, thank Annie for me. Dear God, she's never gonna let us hear the end of this. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's report back to Annie. It was hilarious. Not this man. Like I caught this man and he was still trying to run away. That's hilarious. Like fam, like who, who, who do you, who do you think you are? Who are you actually trying to get away from? I literally saw you. <laughs> There's, I literally, I'm, I'm, I'm watching you walk away with weapons in your pocket. Like, no, are you delusional? Are you okay? There ain't no way. Got to admit, I'm impressed with that. <gasps> Did you catch the thief? Tell me it worked. Annie, what are you doing up? It's way past your bedtime. Mom, I have to know. You've got him, right? Right? Yeah, we got him. You, you're right. I knew it. Annie L. Wilcox, what did you do? I, I told you about it. You know the Laredo robbery? Well, we caught the thief. Wait, so that's real? Of course, <laughs> that was Mom. the joke, too. I told you. I, um, she's telling the truth. You're not pulling my leg, right? Uh yeah, no. They 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 were the W true tellers. Uh I thought I thought they were just annoying little kids as well, but they uh they helped us catch a robber. You know? As crazy as it sounds, she not lying. I can't believe it. 
Annie, we'll talk more about this later. But I'm proud of you. But you've got to be careful. Yes, Mom. I'm gonna be the best ranger surveillance assistant ever. Thank you for helping my girl and anything else involved. Take this. Lord preserve me. Oh, let's go. And we got some credits. Let's go. Yeah, that was a, that was a, that was a cute little storyline. I like that. All right, we are on the credits grind. Let's get some more credits. Um, what else do we do? Ooh, oh, wait, no, no. I don't want to go back to Neon because when I go back to Neon, I want to do everything at Neon at the same time. Uh, so, the, yeah, Yannick, the Ebside Strikers, Mayor Cartwright. Yeah, so Mayor Cartwright might be the next thing since we're already in Aquila City. So let's go ahead and wait. No, no, we don't need to. We don't need to travel. Cause we're already here oh he's in the building cool cool welcome to the rock i guess nah, I don't welcome that. to the rock i guess it's really an be a little more be. excited why don't you okay At least uh, he's not that I far away. I really grossed out by blood, but I'm used I to hope now. Akila is treating you nicely. You tell me about the core drinks. Um. Wait, what? He's supposed to have a job for me. Wait, well, I, I will ask him about the core. The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. Oh, okay, no. So so it is about this. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hussanov Manor. And he's the worst. Simply the worst. But it's been a problem since the Hussanov family ran out of heirs. There's a no wrong that Cartwrights have been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. Okay, okay, okay. Was happy to set things right. Hopefully this is like a persuasion mission and not like us having to go uh, assassinate. But yeah, let's figure out what's wrong with Frank. He's just another slick, rude, neon corporate hack. Full of himself and just awful. I mean, the core is history itself. Cads like him don't belong here. LOL, cads. That feels like a new space age like slur. Are you acting like a real cad today? The opposite of a chad. You're a cad. Uh, no, I thought, th yeah, I'm, I'm... I was right to talk to you about this. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate. Built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashta overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hossanovs. Mm, okay. But yeah, I was, what I was going to say is, like, I feel like whenever we answer, we're happy to help. Because we are on the credit grind, we are trying to get more credits. Uh, it seems like whenever we're like, I'm happy to help, by the end of the mission, we actually get more money than, like, the missions where I'm just like, I'll do it for credits. And I feel like those are the missions where we get like 2000 credits, but like the missions where like, we're like, Hey, I'm happy to help. We get like four or 5,000 credits. Um, but yeah. A lot of folks thought the same. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Akila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that'll be a bonus. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You are a blessing. Zahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful. And look out for yourself. Yeah, so we've dealt with Ashta a lot uh, in the Aquila City in the Aquila City missions. Um, they're really not that bad. I think the highest was like 
a level 10 or level 15 and we are level 22 right now and also we have some like pretty good weapons so i'm not too worried Where about it not to be like arrogant or like cocky about it but like if like our only enemy is like the ashta which are just like creatures uh just explain but yeah they're just like alien creatures uh they're pretty hostile if that's our biggest worry then like yeah because if it was like us fighting the crimson fleet again uh yeah that would that would, that would take the cake all right wait okay, let's go to sahara's farm i feel like i've been there before have we been here before y'all I don't know. I'll have to check my math later, but I feel like we've been here. I got a feeling that we've been here before. Primed, firing. Yeah, yeah, I feel like we've been here before. But maybe just not in this specific farm, but like somewhere close to it. All right, where are we going? Is it over here? Okay, it's over here. Wait, no, hold on. It's over there? No. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, that's not bad. I thought I thought it was saying that. Uh, oh, get away! No, no, please, please. Andresia be so ready to fight things. I'm just like, fam, can we not? Like, we don't. We literally don't have to fight everything. Especially if it's like not gonna give us a valuable resource. Like, why? Why am I wasting my time? So, okay, it's not that far, but it's still kind of far. <laughs> it's still kind of far. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Oh, I was like, I'm just running into things, but I was like, oh, I can harvest this. Ooh, okay. So the Ashta are feeding, are, are fighting the praying mantis looking things. All right, who has the most ammo? Okay, I'll, everything's running out of ammo. I need to re-up soon. We're gonna jump, jump, jump the fence. Oh, that's dead. Oh, sad face. Oh, no way. No way that you're that strong. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Also, I don't believe that it was only one Ashta. Are y'all serious? Are y'all for real? Are are y'all are y'all being actually for real right now? It's literally was only one Ashta. Oh my god. Y'all about to annoy me. I can't I came out all this way. I, oh wait, wait. Oh we need uh the, the tall Hello? The top hello? Uh, we need the tall grande, but Lord, there's no way that y'all sent me all the way out here for one little level five. Oh my God. Just say that you hate me. It's literally all you gotta do. <laughs> literally just say you hate me. Sit down, sit down. All right, cool, cool, cool. Ooh, got the will and testament. There we go. We got it. All right, there's nothing over there. Ew, I've never had that resource before, so that's cool. I like this pistol because it reminds me of the alien weapon. Does anyone, did anyone watch Alien vs Predator and it has like the three dots? Let me, well, I'll show you in the tree. Like it has like the three dots and then it will show you when it's on a target. Uh, each dot will light up red when it's in line. And then when it's uh, all three dots are on the enemy, uh, particularly like a headshot, you can one shot people. It is really powerful weapon and it's a purple rare drop, so is actually like decent stats as is but also can be uh 
upgraded as well, so. Our other pistol. What was it? Yeah, our other pistol, this one, the one, what's it called? The one, one inch punch uh, is also super powerful. But uh, again, it's just, it's just not as reliable in terms of um, shot registration. It's, it's a good weapon. I, I really can't complain for real, for real. Not for real, for real. Hey, who is this? Ghostbusters. I was about to say. Who are you shooting at? See, look at that one shot. You line up the dots. Hit it in a crit zone. Done. It's done though. But also, uh, I ain't gonna hold you. Andresia. On a scale of Sarah, who is like, don't kill anybody. To Barrett, who's like, it's whatever. To Andresia, who's like, oh, they looking at us the wrong way? Shoot them. <laughs> it's just like, you really have like the whole like rainbow of, of, of people. In your crew who are just like approaching things in different ways let's get back to elias optional talk to frank who's that frank linkson oh wait no I, if that's the dude who's trying to like oh lord if that's a dude who's trying to take the will then i don't think it's like fam like why are you trying to take someone else's estate if you, if you don't know what the final will and testament says, why would you try and take over someone's like estate? That's kind of a sleazy move. Honestly, it's tempting though because maybe he tries to bribe us off. We do need money, y'all. Because if we if we get the bribe, okay, you know I'm gonna talk to Frank. I I am you know just just for research, you know for research. I'm gonna talk to I'm gonna talk to Frank. Let's see what he says. They, they stay talking about my boost pack. Leave me in my boost pack alone. All right. So is that Frank up there? I think that's Frank up there. So let's uh, excuse me. That's uh, Elias. Let's go watch Frank or go talk to Frank rather. To report. Uh, watch Frank Lamal. Okay. 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 Where are we going? Where are we going? All right, Frank, you better, you better, you better sell me on a good pitch. Cause I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'll say this before we even interact, right? I have not done the side quest. This is all new. If the bribe is like 20 K or more, I'll absolutely take it. Like I'll make that commitment to chat right now. I will absolutely take it. Well, actually, no. Yeah, if it's 25k or more, that's my that's my line. That's my hard line. If it's tw if it's anything less, if it's 24,999 or less, we will not be taking the bribe. But if it is 25k or more, we'll take the bribe, no questions asked, and then we will lie to Elias. If it is not that amount, I, I'm just, you know, you know, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Aquila City is lucky that Hope Tech still deals with them after the reception I've gotten. I've come here offering business, employment opportunities, and they practically spit in my face. See, we are, we're already starting off on the wrong foot. You sound like a jerk. Um, <laughs> uh, but let's let's kind of play to his ego, though. So we'll be like, they should be supporting Hope Tech, not insulting you. But Hope Tech is actually a terrible, corrupt company. That's right on the money there. So Ron Hope assigns me to Aquila City, and I'm excited, right? Could be a plum assignment. But I need a place to sleep here, so I bought some prime real estate for me and my girl. And ah, uh, damn it, you'd think I plowed through a sacred burial site. Listen, I'm not the one selling some priceless historical manor. That's not on me. 
yeah, he's absolutely a jerk, and I do not agree with him. But we're gonna keep stroking his ego. Um, yeah, I mean, cause honestly, he, if he's so rich, then he could just buy a new house. But like, yeah. And don't forget the damn realtor. Thanks for hearing me out. Hope you have a better day than I've had. All right, so this is the turning point. If we tell him about the will, we could, you know, we could potentially finagle a deal. But again, the threshold is 25K in credits. Who the who? Wait, wait. Hassanov. You mean the family that owned this manor? Oh, hell. Elias Cartwright. That man's always had it out for my credits are as good as anyone else around here. I got a business proposition. 10,000 credits, and I take that alleged will off your hands. Uh, ten, I can't do it for 10. I I cannot uh, I cannot do it for 10. I'm sorry. 25K was the cutoff. And 10? Only 10? That's, that's bananas. You, you're, you're this rich person who's trying to hold on to a property and like that really you shouldn't be in charge of like yikes suit yourself for there's no way elias cartwright or any of those other core snobs will offer you anything close <laughs> so you sold three pickups i mean you know here's the thing here's the thing i'm willing to take that risk because ultimately my morals stop at 25k i absolutely i'm that much in debt i am that much in debt in the game that yeah i have morals so 10k was not gonna do it it's actually kind of insulting that he even said 10k if he if he would at least said like 20 or even like something like 18 i would have halfway respected the deal but like 10 wow and we couldn't even negotiate it wasn't even like a back and forth where we could potentially persuade him and negotiate oh ain't no way I'm absolutely giving the will over. Cause ain't no way uh, the the former like owner is gonna be okay with like this rich well, snob the taking the property. I wish my granddad was still with us. What happened to the Hassanovs never sat right with him. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can we read the will? Cause I I I, I should probably read the will before I try and negotiate new items. This is what would it take to be fun? Most part then Blake all okay, yeah. So it is legitimately Blake Allwood, apparently a little bit a legitimate child. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Full visit. Cool, cool. We should definitely be reading these things Don't before we get into so the dialogue. The end, but her lawyer would have surely made her draft a will. You got it. That's wonderful. But Blake Allwell. Wait, let me think back. There was a Blake. Might be we can track him or any surviving kin down. I'll get my lawyer on this. Frank Langston's in for a rude surprise. And we can maybe see a Hassano return back to the core. Nice. They helped make the Freestar Collective. If they have living heirs, well, it's more than I could have hoped for. You've more than earned this. You've done the city a great service. Yeah. Ouch. Bruh. 2,500. Oh, my God. But, you know, I mean, it, it was to be expected. We weren't going to get a big payday from it, but yikes, that's low. I mean, 5K would have been, like, a little bit better. But, no, this is like, yeah, we're going to give you a, a, a portion of a portion. All right, cool, cool, cool. Fishy business unto the unknown. Actually, yeah, let's do, let's, let's follow up, um... Oh, distortions on the scanner. Talk to Sam. Hmm. Because Sam's going to lead us to the next artifact piece. And I don't know if I'm quite ready for that because I feel like our, we have a lot of skills. We got to we gotta get done before all this. But let's go to this one. Uh, follow the distortions on the scanner. We did up our scanner uh, skill for our ship. So maybe we can do it now. I don't know. We will see. Every world with living things is a treasure. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can we? Hear me out. 
We cannot. We cannot put a outpost down. This is unacceptable. Okay, so yeah. Then that's the case. If that's the case, then we can't. We can't finish this mission. If we can't put an outpost down. No worries. Let's go do something else. So that is neon. That's neon. Okay, let's go back to Aquila City. Yeah, we, we probably should have left Aquila City, honestly. There's so much good stuff to do there. These stories are really quality stories to me. All right, Sam. Sam, we're getting we're getting close to a point where we're ready to to take on your quest. Okay. I'm telling you. Welcome to Aquila City. Don't do anything uh funny with that uh, boogs pack of yours. Wait, hold on. It's this way. Wait, right, hold on. Let's go to the bar real quick and see if the mission board has been updated because we've done all of the missions except for one so i'm wondering how often these uh, uh so it's great to have you. oh my god it's still probably 180. oh my god that's ridiculous um yeah mission board Ooh. okay yes uh, i can't take any more crimson fleet i can't i just can't it's lucrative but i can't kill the ecliptic specialist on ursa major absolutely Transport miners, five miners. You don't have space on your ship for these passengers. Yikes. Uh, okay. Supply lit. I think. Yeah. This one you need. To... Oh my god. Okay. sad face okay so some of these are like getting into the weeds now of like you have to have an outpost you have to have a bigger ship unfortunate Fuck. rough landings but no let's go ahead and, and take out this this dude real quick that should be pretty pretty fast straight forward also, I'm playing reindeer games because I'm so low on ammo. I'm like legitimately low on ammo. It's kind of bad. Scan this up a planet. Oh, who's trying to hail me? me for money and I'm trying to save up money for this bounty. Listen, we have kids listening, so uh, let's just say affirmative. Very much affirmative. We have a workbench here, but we need just common old iron. A lot of it. Then we should be able to jury rig some repairs. Any chance you have some? Ooh, okay. okay. Loads more than the iron's actually worth. Yeah, no, if it's just iron, yeah, like, absolutely. Fifteen hundred. Oh my God! I'm getting ripped off from everybody. Bruh. Why is this my life? All right. Let's just you know, let's just money. You know, credits is credits. Let's take it day by day. Let's get through it the best we can. Touching down. Everything in the green. Let's get through it the Not best we can. To Helmets, it is then. Negative 229 degrees is bananas. 
All right. Oh, also the other thing I meant to, um, I meant to mention that the stealth mission we did, I also found out there there's a bonus to damage when you're, uh, getting people, uh, when you're killing people with stealth. So, uh, I had no clue that that was even a thing. So it was kind of nice to find that out that like, there's an opportunity to, uh, get that extra damage. And, and again, so it's like, uh, risk reward is like, if you want to like risk it, you have to get super close, like literally breathing down their necks, but you get, I think it was like two, two times the damage um for that and it was like i think because I, I i definitely got some headshots and i think there's also times i like i was missing shots and it was still two times damage so i was just like all right i'm sure i am sure there's probably enemies down there right yep there are enemies down there Oh, oh, Lord, I, I ruined my own. You're on fire now, buddy. I, I ruined that for me. I, I really, I genuinely was going to attempt to do stealth. And then I was just like, let me just peek over. All right, what's this? You were so out of your league. You were so out of your league. Bum, 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 bum. All right, someone's shooting on my left. Who is that? Oh, it's just you. Come here, buddy. All right, now let's get back to the actual dangerous person. Bum, bum. Why are you jumping around? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Come here, come here. You clinched me. You clinched me. Oh, come here, come here. Got him. Oh, I'm out of, I, I'm out of, no. Oh, Lord. Ooh, oh God. Space fighting is always a trip. Oh Lord. Yeah, space fighting is always a trip. I'm out here just making bad decisions. Let me heal up real quick. Okay. Round two, and this time you all don't survive. One clip. Ooh, gold. Oh, why, why are you just letting me get this close to you? Oh, that's unfortunate for you. You're still on fire now. I love the incendiary rounds. I love it. Oh, you got some tough armor. Let's do this. Nobody's impenetrable from the laser. Oh, no way. No way you just shot me in my face. I'm getting flinched. Oh, wow. I've not experienced this much flinch in the game so far. That was a little, that was a little, that was a little less than what I was anticipating. Ooh, got some, got some good loot, but, but we're here, but we're here. All right, it's time to loot and then get out of here. All right. Well, actually, let me take this. I don't know what an urban eagle is. Oh, it's just a pistol. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. All right. So there's somebody else. No, all right here. Space a dump, it's got some ammo, super food. Thank you, thank you. Ammo, credits, Citadel, let's go. Oh, and I am encumbered. And yes, we are once again encumbered. Clap it up, y'all. 
honestly, at this point, we might as well just have a a counter going for how many times I get encumbered. Oh, Lord. ain't no way. Ain't no way. Who are you? Well, actually, no, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to get you with the pistol. I'm going to come right in person. Got you. I was like, I'm going I'm to I'm gonna get right up in your face. Oh, there's no way. Why are you running? Why are you running? That's hilarious. All right, where is? Oh, here it is. I was like, where's the robot? Ooh, the robots always got some good loot. They always, they always got loot that's like uh, worthy of like crafting. Or like, stop running. I'm just like, I'm not running. I am floating. Ooh. All right, let's get out of here. That was not bad at all. Not bad at all. I did. I did mess up the stealth though. That that's not me. I absolutely messed up the stealth. That was so easily avoidable. I just. I should. I should have gone around the gate instead of trying to boost pack over it because of. Uh, the uh, it having lower gravity. I know, I know you don't have to remind me. I promise you don't have to remind me. I am very clear. I'm encumbered. Get out of here. Let's ski daddle. All right, ship, cargo, plenty of space, craze B, resources. Actually, just store all my resources. That just makes it easier. Um. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So we got we got some good choices here, but we're gonna put those away for sure. Helmets, that is pretty terrible. That is, okay, the stats are okay, but it's not great. It's not better than what I got. Yeah. Um, hazmat, it's just not cute. It's functional. It's just not cute. Miscellaneous. Okay. No worries. It's like every time I upgrade and can carry more things, I end up like I never imagined, even though I'm uh, I'm not encumbered anymore. I never imagined that I would be holding 190. I think originally we we max could hold like 130 or something, and like I'm casually holding 190, like super casually. But hey, we are at a hundred thousand, so so that is a thing though, y'all. We are at a hundred thousand crans. So let's see, Lord. This is probably gonna be so much grinding off stream, but I am de I am determined, and whether we do it on stream or off stream, I am determined to get the Crimson Fleet bounty. Again, that, that was the one thing to clarify what I was saying earlier, is that multiple people have run into the glitch I ran into, um, but some people have found a way out of just like grinding to get the amount, and you pay off the amount, then you're able to finish the quest line. I shouldn't have to pay off the amount anyways, because it's going to literally drain my full account and I'm going to be back to literally nothing. But I mean, at least I can progress the story because the Crimson Fleet story is like one of the major stories. And uh, before I pursue the Vanguard story, I want to finish the Crimson Fleet. I think that only makes sense. So like, I don't have to worry about killing more Crimson Fleet people. I can just kill them because they're criminals and they deal with like, you know, like trafficking and you know smuggling and stuff like that um they're not good people they're not good people and then i can like worry about other things additional zoom mm. scan five planets honestly i feel like a lot of the i wish we were just getting skill points faster 
I don't know how some certain people are like grinding out these skill points so fast. I feel like I'm so slow. Hmm. So I can max out weightlifting, which just allows us to carry more. Or I can do scanning the survey, which I think construct improvement. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh my goodness, so many good things. I just don't have the skill set for it. Honestly, if I could unlock all this, if there's a better way to grind out skill points, honestly, maybe that's why I look up later. It's like how to grind out skill points. Cause I feel like some of this stuff is just like I'm playing it by the book and I'm just like, I actually, I actually want to figure out if I am like playing it too by the book. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. So which one is the one where we got to into the unknown? Yeah. So follow the distortion the scanner anomaly and then now maybe maybe uh, maybe with the scanner abilities we can do that such beauty in the midst of nothingness unexplored Fast travel, yes. Again, m not having mounts is pretty not fun, but like also. Okay, so there's that. Fast travel. I'm just trying to see if anything has changed with the updated scanner abilities. I mean, it's not a waste skill because it still helps me with like geological resources, but like, um, unfortunate. Okay. So yeah, it's still hella far away. Let's see if we can't maneuver this. Can we maneuver this? I feel like we can. Okay, we can't maneuver that. Lamau. Okay, how about this? No! Okay, I should I should have been made I, I should have just waited. I should have been patient. All right, see. All right, where is the best way to do that? Maybe right here. Okay, okay, all right. Scoot, 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 scoot. All right, nice, nice. Can I make it? Oh, nice, 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 nice. Nice, that was a little bit tricky. That was a little bit tricky. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Okay. The range is 20 meters of my scanner. If I could somehow get up there. Let's scooch, scooch. I promise you, someone probably already figured this out, but they probably also have like a better jetpack than I do, which again is just like, you know, you know. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I was not expecting that. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so close! I'm so close! Oh my God, if I fell here, I would cry. Oh my God, y'all, oh my God. All right, Ow. scooch, scooch, scooch. Can I just scan through this thing? Oh no, I have to be on the other side. All right, 
Ooh, third person actually helps, though. No, I feel like I gotta, I gotta be. Yeah, I gotta be in a different position. No. Okay, so it's 18 meters away, so I'm in range. I just need another ledge to get to. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, that was a leap of faith. That was absolutely a leap of faith. There's no way. Oh, I can't. I still can't scan it. That's ah, bananas. Okay. Okay. Um. Absolutely leap of faith. Can I? Hear me out. Can I get up there? All right. First person. Third person and wide. Okay. 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 I believe. I believe. No. No. Rip. All right. Unfortunate. Okay, so I still can't. <laughs> oh, these are times I wish I could refund points, uh, refund my things, because I, it feels like I'm kind of like wasting my things when I can't. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. 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 Establish a cargo link to Aquila Cheyenne. What is a cargo link? I sped through the dialogue. I don't remember. Enter new homestead. Talk to the things. Okay. Let's kill. Wait, I, we didn't kill. Oh, no, we did. Okay, that's under completed. I was about to hold on. It's like, did we not already? Take uh take dude out. So Neon City. Oh, okay, we didn't do this one. Okay. We'll do this one and then honestly it is getting a little bit late. Uh, I do have to do some IRL things, so this is probably gonna be our last mission that we do. Again, as I said before, it is gonna be a shorter stream, but this is we did want to stream. Again, we've streamed every day back to back to back to back and what to back uh for the early access and so days one launch day day two and day three are currently can you stop talking for a second uh launch day <laughs> launch day day two and day three are all available on youtube day four will be available tomorrow and then day five what we're playing right now will be available uh the day after uh, so if you go to our YouTube page, exclamation point YouTube, or if you check out any of our pages on socials, uh, you'll have access to our YouTube page or just go to YouTube and type Sky Shinobi. Uh, you'll be able to find our information there. And yeah, um, we'll have the playthroughs there. Also, you start to see some of the uh, clips that I'm pulling together show up as well. I'm planning to get at least maybe like three to four more clips out this week. Uh, I think one is live currently uh, or should was scheduled to go live today so uh we're putting content out the, on this game i think early access is for me has really been about um just enjoying the space with you all kind of talk a little bit about what i'm enjoying with the game what i think are like pain points and uh, yeah i think i think it's been a blast as far I, I truly see the potential of this game uh not to be arrogant but unfortunately unlike a lot of people i feel like i actually see the potential of this game and i'm like not a super like arrogant person so like it's even weird like saying that it feels wrong but it's just like i feel like there's so many people who are just like trying to speed run this game for the sake of saying oh i was the first person to put up the full playthrough on youtube it's like it's not the full playthrough there is never going to be one singular full playthrough for this game uh there there's so many different permutations of how you can approach the game and uh, for me uh, that's what makes that's what makes this game so special and makes it uh, a really cool uh, time is is just being in a space where like hey we actually get to like have fun and like explore the character 
and even right now like we're kind of max maxing out what we can do in aquila city but even with that we still have neon city we still have uh mars we have the new homestead we have titan there's literally a thousand different planets with all these different storylines and npcs uh so you know like why not like actually um you know take the time to dive in and honestly you know like at this point and i think just as i'm as i'm thinking about it it actually kind of feels like a good put your gun away put your gun away it feels like a kind of a, a good stopping point uh in terms of uh doing a quick review and then actually like we'll kind of end off stream for right now we'll probably be back later um but there, there are a couple other things again i'm just looking at the time it needs to get a little bit later than i was anticipating uh, and i do want to go ahead and take care of the irl stuff that i have but uh for for the game i think for me um yeah just to go ahead and you know come to some type of like not a fully formed analysis but uh kind of quick and dirty analysis of the game thus far and also being 30 plus hours in i think for a game of this size and caliber especially being rpg i think 30 hours is a really good cutoff point to like be able to to point and reflect and for me uh, you know there, there are some really good aspects of the game we think about all that you can do in the game whether it be our skills and the plethora of skills that you have access to and the benefits from these skills even the fact that i'm raking up my pistol skill and my pistols do a massive amount of extra damage including crit damage the fact that like we have booster pack skills where it's like really nice to be able to to get those abilities back and not have to use up my o2 from sprinting uh to get from place to place because there is an amount system but i can use my booze pack even simple things like weight lifting which was something that like is just super valuable early on in the game being able to have something where I like I can carry more things again I come from a background of playing a lot of looter shooters and knowing that I just want to pick up everything even if it's not something I would personally use if it's something I could sell later I just want to pick up everything right and this gives you more ability to do that granted you can still like move around while encumbered but it does impact your o2 and co2 impact uh intake rather so there's all these different things that that we can can really do with that aspect of the game beyond that the star map the infamous star map of where you you're able to see planets on planets on planets there's so many different opportunities beyond the like the different solar systems whether it be under the free star collective whether it be under the crimson fleet the, the united colonies there's all these different systems where um you have the ability we can go back you have the ability to literally explore the stars like uh there's just really not a way for you to get bored all these planets that you're seeing light up the ones in white are the ones that are explorable or within our current flight pathway for the capabilities of our ship the red ones are still to be explored but again we can explore them in due time again they're much significantly higher level but uh you know they're, they're available to do that so there's just so many different possibilities that we can engage in looking at all these dots and again this is just one of the systems knowing the fact that there's still places we haven't explored yet and all this to me just just I was going to say breeds, but I guess that's an appropriate term, but it just like births so many great opportunities for some really solid storylines. Speaking of storylines for the missions thus far, and again, we've completed a sizable number of missions, as you can kind of see. Each mission just has so many great details to it. Even the intro mission has, what is this, like 10 plus steps that you have to do, and each step is meaningful. I don't ever feel, and I have not felt thus far, that any mission that I've done, whether it's been like a main mission for the Constellation crew or it's been a side mission, I don't feel like any of it has ever been wasted time. I feel like something's teaching me something about the game, how to locate something, how to use a new skill, how to do you know something a, a little bit more efficiently than i have been doing it and especially this whole storyline where we find the star eagle and we become a part of the free star collective to me granted it's like an optional one i don't think you have to do it but to me you know obviously getting the star eagle spaceship was the kind of key reward there because we needed a better spaceship but it was just such a oh my god it was just so vibrant it was such such depth to the story about all the like aspects of like free star collective are people who 
uplift, generosity, kindness of heart, and honor, but also like they take out bad guys. They you know they do what they need to do to protect, you know, the greater good, the greater amount of people. But then also seeing like, again, without spoiling it, there are a lot of twists and turns about like people who say they are upholding these values, but potentially they don't uphold those those values and don't have integrity. There's so many different aspects of that. And we learn how to combat fight. And we learn how to like use different types of weapons, pistols, shotguns, lasers. So many different things. Not to mention that we have the ability to also pick up things from the mission board. So the fact that we can pick up quick cash by, you know, delivering shipments or, you know, doing assassin style contracts. So all of these things for me, again, whether it's a main mission, whether it's faction, whether it's miscellaneous, whether it's something for a specific mission, all of these have just a different piece of the puzzle that for me makes up the whole of the game. And so when people are just focusing on the main missions I, and just kind of blazing through those, I feel like you miss so much of the game because it only tells one dimensional, one dimension, you know, one aspect of the story. Now, beyond those pieces, having that again, we do have to talk about the ships. Uh, I've made my thoughts known on the ship on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, uh, I also have a video, a quick video about it, uh, probably today or tomorrow, whenever I get that out. But again, uh, I, I love the combat system. I love how intricate you can get with your ships and how detailed you can get. But this, again, Star Eagle being the ship that you get from the Freestar Collective quest line, which is about six to eight hours, depending on how you play it and what decisions you make. But it's a long quest line, but it's so juicy with storyline. And it's a very valuable ship. It's served me very well since I've completed that. That's all well and good, but look how terrible the intro ship is. Now, granted, I did upgrade the cargo bay to hold more things, but outside of that, this is an outright terrible ship. It's a heavy ship. It doesn't have really good fighting capabilities. It doesn't have a really good engine. The shields are terrible and, and it's just really not a good use of your time. So why Bethesda thought it was right to give you this ship and especially it just has so low value. Uh, I did color, change the color a little bit just so it looked a little bit cuter. So it made me feel a little better. But the fact is I played 26 hours of this game. I'm currently at 30 plus hours, but 26 hours of this game, I've had to play with this ship. And it was a terrible ship and, and, and all of the space combat, I kept dying and it was not a fun experience. So again, if there was one pain point, it's the fact that Bethesda, again, the combat itself, well thought out, the, the different details with the ship, well thought out, but giving us this poor of a spaceship out the gate, which is bad. And it, and it just feels very jarring. It makes you almost want to quit the game. If I wasn't so interested in the storylines and I was somebody who was mainly there for like the combat, the action, the missions where you get to kill people, then I probably would have maybe put the game down by right now, mainly because of this. It's that big of a factor that you have to deal with the spaceship that impedes your progress on the game. Now, if we earned credits faster and could afford better ships, if there are I mean, even even at base, if this ship was just had better stats, uh, especially in terms of a better shield and having better uh, offensive capabilities, I think, you know, I wouldn't be here with the kind of, uh, you know, perspective I have. But honestly, what keeps this game at a level of like a nine out of 10 are really even like 8.5 out of 10 versus a 10 out of 10 is the space combat components of this. Everything else to me is is actually super on par for the quality of what we would expect for Bethesda from a triple A title and especially from a title of this scale and scope with all the bells and whistles that it has. Which leads us to inventory. So inventory is a very unique experience. Um, if you play any RPG or just really just any game in particular, it's it's your kind of standard experience of being able to like have the different weapons that you carry on you. You have the stuff in your inventory. You have swords. You have laser rifles. You have shotguns. You have like SMGs. Uh, you know, you have all different things. You have pistols. You have all different things that you have capabilities to. And obviously gold is the highest in terms of damage rating. But then also you have the ability to have other weapons. Like I have this gray level 
rifle, but it also puts in work. It's one of my favorite sniper rifles to go to note that I can favorite it. So we have that ability. We have the ability to also do quests that the fact that I have this really cool gear from the Mantis quest line, which honestly was one of the best quest lines next to the Star Eagle quest line, given the fact that I actually stumbled into the, the Mantis just clearing out a random, I'm not going to say on what planet, but I was just clearing out a outpost to loot and get resources, and I stumbled on this quest. And so the fact that like there's those really cool aspects of the game that you're able to just like stumble upon really great stories because the stories are so layered into the game experience itself knowing that like we have this gear and maybe the gear style isn't your thing but if you're looking at the side and you can kind of see the benefits that it has you can see that it's really top tier gear obviously you can still collect other gear if you want uh you know if there's other things that you want maybe aesthetic wise or whatever the case is but again ultimately the fact is it's your choice however you want to build out your kit of supplies it's totally up to you so again, we have the gear, you have the wearables under your spacesuit, you have throwables, you have grenades, you have your ammo, you have eight. Honestly, eight is probably one of my favorite aspects of the inventory, given the fact that I keep bumping my energy drink, but it's uh, probably one of my favorite aspects, given the fact that like you have so many weird things, like alien genetic material, it gives you 500 damage resist, right? That's bananas, alien pie antibiotics battle stem you have all these different things and for me the thought that they put into this the intention they put into this for me is really cool that when you actually dive deep into all these things obviously you have to be aware of your mass and how much you're carrying it in given time but each of these things cheats you know restores three health uh you know you can have distilled water you have beer you have all these different things that are really specific so you do have to be careful but also really cool like even something like this the immobilizer helps heal broken limbs and bones so if you have a broken limb and bone in the field this is the only thing that's going to cure it but also it's really cool that you have something that specifically cures the thing versus other games where it's just like you know they'll say like generally antibiotics and then it cures everything this forces you in a good way to actually be more intentional about what materials you're keeping and the ones that you'll need to make sure are in your storage for when you do get hurt because again you you are going to get hurt in the game but some of the naming conventions just some of the things and even details of like look at this synthetic meat you know uh the realism that they put into it uh for me is this is a really cool opportunity so all these pieces on top of you just being able to craft your character in the way that you want uh, for me quick and dirty thoughts these are what i think are what make the game what it is the fact that if you want to speed run i can't stop you if that's the way you want to play the game but you are ruining your own experience in this game that has so much to offer uh, not only to you as a player, but potentially for your streamer, to people who are in your chat, um, as well as just generally like you being able to like really drive the direction of where you go. Your choices matter. Like you don't just get to like go anywhere, right? Uh, just to go back to this really quickly and then we'll finish. Um, I can't remember which mission it was, but the mission where uh, we had to confront uh, Ron Hope from Hotep, Hope, I was about to say Hotep, but Ron Hope from Hope Tech, which is kind of this storyline's corrupt Elon Musk version of a tech genius, right? When we confront him, right, there's three different routes you can go. I'm not going to spoil it for folks who are interested, but there's three different routes you can go. And for you to like have choices that impacted i played all the three routes and they had drastically different outcomes and for me that's like i don't know that's the beauty of the game where your choices matter you don't just get to lackadaisically just click on something and keep moving what you do matters in the game and i think that's one of the core pieces of a solid rpg is like if i'm saying i want to build up my character in this case luna who is level 22 combat medic and i really want to lean into luna being a combat medic and i want to lean into that story pat line uh luna has like an empath background has a neon street back you know like has all these different things i can do that without fear of just getting into the monotony of like just pick a choice and then 
nothing matters. Everything matters. And whether it be your inventory, the skills that you choose to level up first, where you go in the star system, or even downright to the ships that you choose to keep on deck, uh, it all matters. It all has an impact to your gameplay um, in terms of how you're able to, to approach the world in this universe. And to me, um, those are, are some of the key pieces that make this game not only what it is, especially for it to be early access. Again, we're not even talking about any potential expansions. We're not even talking about any additional aspects of, you know, like what they can like, you know, there are some visual glitches here and there, but they're not super major. The, the fact that there's so much still to build forth um, in this game, uh, it, it for me just, just shows that uh, there was a lot, a lot, a lot of thought, a lot of intention, a lot of love poured into this game. And I think uh, if you're interested in this type of game, if you're interested in really playing a character and really getting into the mind of a character that you create in your own unique way, this is the game for you. If you're interested in space, this is the game for you. If you're interested in, you know, just being able to like think differently about how a story can be told, this is the game for you. So um, that's my quick and dirty review. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this game. Absolutely. So I gave it a strong, strong nine out of 10, strong nine out of 10. Uh, and I, I think it's well worth the wait. Hey, yo. We got a homie in the house. We got a homie in the house. We got nine passion in them. You then. I appreciate you, uh, Nine, for popping through. Uh, we we're just getting that recording done real quick. Um, that said, we're actually ending stream because I got to go do some IRL things, but appreciate you stopping by and, and hanging out while you still were. Um, yeah, you you all have been great today. I appreciate everyone who stopped through. We had a number of homies stop through. Um, whether you were here for a little bit, here for a long time, I appreciate everyone. And especially if you've been here with us every day, we've been back to back to back to back. We've streamed five days straight. Uh, lots of content going out to you all around this game. Uh, today is the last day of early access. And so we will be putting out more content. So look out to our YouTube page. Um, definitely make sure you're engaging there because there will be the follow-up content here as well as we're going to take a break tomorrow to get some of those edits done but we will be back when we'll be back thursday so we'll be back thursday uh we might be doing some destiny Bruh. but you know i really want to play starfield uh but either way we'll play destiny or starfield and uh we'll have a good time we'll hang with you all and we'll be back another time so i appreciate y'all um yeah be easy take care of yourselves and and keep uh keep uh keep keep on keeping on whoa, whoa, whoa. have a great day appreciate you i appreciate you w w d w w stream w community i remember as always you were seen you were loved you were held you were appreciated you are enough and if nobody else got you the cloud commune got you the name of our community here uh where we're here to hang out with each other take care of each other look after each other and build community through the thing that we love gaming uh gaming and games uh can be a really great portal to to making sure that we we have strong healthy communities and people can you know you know have fun with each other right 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 all right appreciate you um I say this every time and I will continue to say it every time. Uh, your time is the most precious thing that you can offer anyone. So any amount of time that you give here uh, is appreciated. It's noticed. It's appreciated. Chatting, lurking, watching the bot after the after the back after the matter after the fact <laughs> words. Uh, it all means a lot to me and I'm appreciative of your time. Uh, continue to be good to yourselves and be good to each other. We'll see you all later. Peace.